I don't know about you, but I am constantly setting goals for myself and not even coming close to following through on them. And it doesn't even matter what kinds of goals I set. Like at least once every couple of months, I tell people I'm going to get that kick-ass six-pack. Like even better, I, I want those lines that come down by your hip. I think they're called V-lines. I mean, like in reality, the only lines I get are from like my fat folding in on itself. The goals could also be school-related. Every year, my students come into my class tell me about their academic goals. This is the year I'm going to work my ass off and get straight A's. Then like two weeks into the semester, it all falls apart. I mean, I guess the goals could also be social. Something nice, like, I don't know, like finding someone to fall in love with. Yeah, good luck with that one. So, so is there a way to actually achieve the goals we set out to do? In Damn Skippy, there is. Organizational psychologists, Locke and Latham, spent years conducting research on how people set out their goals. And they called their theory, Goal Setting Theory. I mean, the name kind of sucks, but at least it gets, it gets right to the point. Okay, I'm going to try to summarize their years of research in just two simple, easy to follow steps. Number one, make your goals difficult, yet attainable. And this is where most people screw up their goals. They either one, make their goals really easy so they feel they're a total waste of time, or two, they make them super freaking hard so they have no realistic chance of actually achieving that goal. Like me and my V-lines, or I don't know, I guess you in finding a loving relationship. Try to make it so you can achieve the goals you set, but yet you need to work to get there. This way you feel accomplished when you try to tackle that goal. The second step to actually accomplishing your goals is to make your goals specific. Don't be too general. Don't say things like, this year, I'm going to work as hard as I can in school. Or, this month, I'm going to work out until I pass out in the gym. Those goals have no real meaning because they cannot be measured, and that means you are way less likely to follow through with them. Instead, make the goals as specific as possible. Something like, I'm going to get a 90 in my first physics test. Or I'm going to do 25 push-ups a day for a whole month. Or something social like, I'm going to be able to look at my crush without puking in fear. If you can follow these two simple rules, make your goals difficult yet attainable, and make your goals specific, you are much more likely to achieve the goals you set out for yourself. So, six-pack, I'll eventually have you. And for you guys, go out there and find your love.